When you hear of Barbados, what comes to mind? I bet you will say beautiful beaches and exquisite cuisine. But did you know that Barbados is more than just beaches and food? Barbados is a small island nation located in the Caribbean Sea that is known for its natural beauty, rich cultural heritage, and warm tropical climate. This vibrant country boasts stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and a well-developed infrastructure, making it a popular destination for tourists from around the world. With a population of just under 300,000, Barbados has a high standard of living and a strong economy that is heavily dependent on tourism. The island's rich history and diverse cultural influences are reflected in its cuisine, music, and local traditions, making it a fascinating and unique place to explore. Barbados gained its independence from Britain on November 30, 1966, making it one of the earliest Caribbean countries to achieve independence. Prior to that, Barbados was a British colony for over 300 years, having been claimed by England in 1625. The country is now a sovereign nation and a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, and the Caribbean community, among other international organizations. The country's capital city is Bridgetown, and its official language is English. Its current president is Sandra Mason, and the currency used in Barbados in the Barbadian dollar. Buckle up, dear explorers, and we bring you 10 fascinating facts about Barbados. 1. Barbados is the birthplace of rum. If ever there was an island that can claim being the place where rum originated, it's Barbados. Sugarcane was first introduced to Barbados in the 1630s, and by the 1640s, the island was producing large quantities of sugar. As sugar production increased, so did the production of molasses, a byproduct of sugar refining that is a key ingredient in rum. In the 17th century, plantation slaves discovered that molasses could be fermented and distilled into a potent alcoholic beverage. This early version of rum was known as Kill Devil and was often consumed by pirates and sailors. Over time, the production of rum became more refined, and by the 18th century, Barbados was producing some of the finest rums in the world. Today, Barbados is known for its high-quality rums, including Mount Gay, which is believed to be the oldest rum brand in the world, having been established in 1703. Across the island, there are over 1,500 rum shops and more distilleries, including Foursquare Distilleries and Nicholas Abbey, a plantation house, museum, and rum distillery. Whether or not you already have a favorite rum mix, chances are you'll find a better one in Barbados. 2. Barbados has a very high literacy rate. Barbados has a very high literacy rate, with over 99% of the population being able to read and write. Education is highly valued in Barbados, and the government has made significant investments in the education system to ensure that all citizens have access to quality education. The country has a well-developed system of primary and secondary schools, as well as vocational and technical training programs and a number of tertiary level institutions. The literacy rate in Barbados is among the highest in the world, and the country has a strong tradition of academic excellence and intellectual achievement. 3. Barbados is one of the most developed countries in the Caribbean. Barbados is widely regarded as one of the most developed countries in the Caribbean region. The country has a high standard of living well-developed infrastructure, and a strong economy that is heavily dependent on tourism, financial services, and the production of sugarcane and rum. The country has a well-educated population and a stable political system, and it has made significant investments in healthcare, education, and social services. Its Human Development Index currently stands at 0, 0,790, which is one of the highest in the Caribbean. With a GDP of $6.1 billion and a DGDP per capita of $21,100, Barbados is one of the richest countries in the Americas. 4. Barbados got its name from fig trees. The name Barbados is believed to have been derived from the Portuguese phrase Os Barbados, which means the bearded ones. This name may have been given to the island by Portuguese explorers or sailors who noticed the bearded fig trees that grow on the island's shores. Another theory is that the name Barbados was derived from the Spanish word barbudos, which means bearded ones. According to this theory, Spanish explorers may have named the island after the Carib Indians 
who were known to wear beards. Regardless of the exact origin, the name Barbados has been used to refer to the island since the 16th century, when it was first explored by European sailors and settlers. Today, the name is known around the world as a symbol of the island's rich history and unique culture. 5. Barbados is the home country of Rihanna. If you don't know or haven't heard about Rihanna, then you might probably be living under a rock. Rihanna is from Barbados. She was born in St. Michael Parish, Barbados on February 20, 1988. Her real name is Robin Rihanna Fenty, and she grew up in the capital city of Bridgetown. Rihanna's career as a singer and songwriter has taken her around the world, but she has always maintained a strong connection to her homeland and often incorporates elements of Barbadian culture into her music and fashion. She is widely regarded as one of Barbados' most famous and successful exports and is a source of pride for many Bajans, the nickname for people from Barbados around the world. 6. Barbados is the third smallest island in the Caribbean. Barbados is actually one of the smallest countries in the Caribbean, both in terms of land area and population. It is the 13th smallest country in the world by land area, and the 7th smallest country in the Americas. The only country in the Caribbean that is smaller than Barbados in terms of land area is St. Kitts and Nevis and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In terms of population, Barbados is the 6th smallest country in the Caribbean with a population of approximately 287,000 people. The smallest country in the Caribbean by population is St. Kitts and Nevis, which has a population of approximately 53,000 people. It's worth noting that some definitions of the Caribbean region may include additional territories, such as the Cayman Islands, the British Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and others, which may impact the rankings of smallest countries in the region. 7. The country is protected by coral reefs. Barbados is surrounded by coral reefs, which play an important role in protecting the island's coastline and supporting its marine ecosystem. The coral reefs around Barbados are part of the larger Eastern Caribbean coral reefs ecoregion, which is one of the most diverse and productive coral reef systems in the world. The coral reefs around Barbados are home to a wide variety of marine life, including over 400 species of fish, as well as sea turtles, rays, and many other creatures. The reefs also provide important ecosystem services, such as protecting the coastline from erosion, supporting local fisheries, and attracting tourists interested in snorkeling and diving. However, like many coral reef systems around the world, the reefs around Barbados are under threat from a range of human activities, including overfishing, pollution, and climate change. These threats can cause coral bleaching, disease outbreaks, and other forms of damage that can reduce the health and resilience of the reefs. To help protect the coral reefs around Barbados, the government has implemented a range of measures, including marine protected areas, fishing regulations, and public education campaigns. 8. Pirates of the Caribbean movie got inspiration from the country's pirate history. The Caribbean's pirate history is intriguing, and it isn't all just a fictional story created for the purposes of putting together a best-selling movie. Pirates did at one point dominate the seas in this region, terrorizing ships in the area. Two notorious pirates of Barbados were Sam Lord and Steed Bonnet. As far as pirates went, Sam Lord was among the more innovative, as he took his plundering ways to the shores. Lord would hang up lanterns in coconut trees to confuse vessels into thinking they were headed to the capital city. Many would wreck their ships on the reefs, and the wheels would be in motion for Lord's deviant plans. Steed Bonnet, on the other hand, was a gentleman of a pirate and a retired British Army major. He turned to the dark side in 1717 and even went as far as purchasing his own pirate ship. His ship was known as Revenge, and he sailed it off the New England coast. Along the way, he captured and burned many ships, and later returned to the Caribbean. He befriended the legendary pirate, Blackberry, who at one point took over the reins of his ship, which were later returned. Eventually, Bonnet was captured and put to death by way of hanging in 1718. 9. Barbados is the home of caves and caverns. There are natural wonders hidden beneath the surface of Barbados, 
particularly in the form of underground caves and caverns. Here are a few examples. Harrison's Cave. This is one of the most popular natural attractions in Barbados, and it is an underground cave system that features underground streams, waterfalls, and pools. Visitors can take a tram tour through the cave to see its unique formations. Animal Flower Cave. This is another cave system in Barbados that features natural pools and rock formations. It is located on the northern tip of the island and offers stunning views of the ocean. Welchman Hall Gully. This is a natural gully in the center of the island that features a variety of tropical plants, flowers, and trees. Visitors can take a guided tour through the gully to learn about the local flora and fauna. The Cotton Tower Signal Station. This is a historic tower located on a hilltop in the center of the island. It offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside and coastline. The Barbados Wildlife Reserve. This is a sanctuary for animals such as monkeys, deer, and tortoises. Visitors can walk through the reserve and observe the animals in their natural habitats. 10. Barbados has some of the most colorful festivals in the world. Barbados is known for its vibrant and colorful festivals, which celebrate the island's culture, history, and traditions. The Crop Over Festival is the biggest festival in Barbados, and it celebrates the end of the sugarcane harvest. Other popular festivals include the Whole Town Festival, the Oyston's Fish Festival, and the Barbados Food and Rum Festival, which celebrate the island's culinary traditions. The island also hosts a variety of music festivals, including the Rega Festival and the Barbados Jazz Festival. Visitors to Barbados can experience the energy and excitement of these festivals, which feature live performances, street fairs, and other cultural events. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos.